there are three assumptions needed for instrumental variables analysis, and they're all so important they've each got their own name. The first is the exclusion restriction. The second is the relevance condition. And the third is the exogeneity assumption. So let's talk about each one of these assumptions. First, the exclusion restriction. This says that the instrument cannot have a direct causal effect on the outcome. Why? Remember the main idea behind instrumental variables analysis. We look at the correlation between the instrument and the outcome variable. And that correlation tells us about the true effect of the treatment on the outcome variable. So if there actually was a direct causal effect of the instrument on the outcome variable, then we wouldn't be able to separate out that effect from the true effect of the treatment on the outcome variable. So our solution is to just assume there isn't a direct causal effect of the instrument on the outcome variable. That's the exclusion restriction. Second is the relevance condition. It says that the instrument does have a causal effect on the treatment. Why is that? Well, suppose the instrument didn't have a causal effect on the treatment. Then there wouldn't be any correlation between the instrument and the outcome variable, regardless of whether the treatment had any causal effect on the outcome or not. Because our next assumption, exogeneity, we'll get there in a bit, it says that instruments are randomly assigned. But under that assumption and under the exclusion restriction, the instrument would just be totally irrelevant. It'd just be a random number we gave to people. And so it'd have zero correlation with the outcome variable. So that's why we need the relevance condition. If we didn't have relevance, we would never see correlation in the first place between the instrument and the outcome. So our final assumption is the exogeneity assumption, which I already just said. It's that the instrument must be randomly assigned to units. Why do we need that? Well, if it failed, we'd be back at the beginning to our original problem all over again. We know, see that correlation between the instrument and the outcome variable might just reflect some unobserved confounder rather than an actual causal effect. So that's why we need the exogeneity condition. So those are the three assumptions used in instrumental variables analysis. And in each application, you're going to have to argue that each one of these assumptions seems plausible and holds in your particular example.